Say hi, Getu. You wanna say hi? You don't want to. This is not our cat. <laughs> hey guys. So we live in Titicama now, which is really exciting. Um, I am actually by myself, sadly. <sighs> Chanel is at the Eden Festival of Action at Wild Spirit in Nature Valley. Um, it is a festival run by Green Pop and it is really, really cool. It's happening this week and uh, she is loving it. And she will be back next week, hopefully, which is very cool. I'm very excited. Um, but I am here planting all the things and unpacking the house, getting everything sorted and getting settled. And I thought maybe I would show you guys what our little cabin looks like. It is adorable and amazing. And we have views of these incredible Titicama mountains. Check it out. This is our beautiful space. Kind of our front garden area. It's quite stunning. Our front door. Just have to take my shoes off. No shoes allowed inside. Here is the kitchen. Still a huge mess because I don't want to unpack more things. I'm tired. It's very simple, very cute, um, and it has plenty of space for us. We also plan to be cooking a lot outside on our rocket stove and our braai. So we don't actually need that much kitchen space. And the fridge is not ours, it's going away. Um, we don't use a fridge, so we don't need it in here. And here is the lounge. So none of this furniture is ours, it was all just mix and matched and kind of was in the house when we got here, which is very cool. Um, the couch is very clearly a seed sorting area because I'm planting like mad. There's instruments, we've got a music corner going on here. They will probably all be hung up on the wall. There's our homestead sign. We are home. Grandfather clock that my grandfather made. Here is the bedroom. Gatu is showing you around. As I said, he's not house, he belongs next door, but he likes to chill with us. So, bedroom, got everything we need in it, hello, and our little bathroom, it's actually quite a big bathroom, it's a very cool toilet, which is gross because we like our composting toilet, so that will get set up as fast as possible. Um, there's a bath, it's old but works, and a basin, and a washing machine also old but it works and that door leads out onto the porch and then if we go back one of Chanel's beautiful paintings Gat is leading the way he knows where to go <laughs> and we're stopping okay um, <laughs> if you come through here here's a beautiful room this is our neighbor's garden at the back here but this room we pretty much are going to leave open as much as possible. Chanel's busy fixing a guitar for somebody. Um, and use it kind of as a yoga meditation space. Uh, we're drying some basil over there. We've got our first house plant and some basil cuttings and some crystals and some incense. And Chanel's mom and my parents and a yoga mat. And this room is just storage at the moment, so it's kind of a disaster. We are unpacking from here, it's probably just gonna stay storage. And that is pretty much it. We'll go back outside because it's so beautiful. It's really hot today. There's the door from the bathroom. That is some sawdust for our compost toilet that will get set up as soon as possible beautiful yard, beautiful mountains, look at that, and up here are two empty rooms, uh, we may or may not use as an office, here are some seedlings, busy germinating, thank you very much, and I 
I've set up the rocket, I'm actually going to cook some food tonight on it for the first time since we've moved here. There's our bry. It does have legs, I just haven't put them on yet. And then if we go this way. So these are all the plants that we brought with us from our various places. Um, there's a lot of cuttings of things and rootings of things and worm farms and a bunch of random stuff that just we couldn't live without and had to bring with us. Um, stuff that we've gathered over the years and some very sad perennial kale which we'll make some cuttings of very soon and one plant will become about four or five plants which is really cool. Uh, we set up a little barrel here to catch water from the gutter so we can have some fresh drinking water and around the corner is just more yard and the cars you hear are the N2. Really really pretty. We plan to do a lot of beds and do a nice little design of the space to make it a bit more productive. Beautiful. Look at those mountains. Aren't they something? It's a gorgeous day. So that was the world's shortest house tour. It might look small, but for us it's actually plenty of space. It's really big. Um, it's essentially three, four, five bedrooms if you count all the rooms, which is a lot. And we have no furniture, so uh, we really don't need more than that. Um, there is also a nice big garden space next door that we will be using um, to plant in. It's got a lot of fruit trees in it already, young ones, young fruit trees. Um, and a lot of empty garden beds, so I've already started planting in there. Um, and that's probably where we're going to grow the most of our food for this season. And get some beds ready in our own yard for winter, I think. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Please subscribe to our channel and follow along on our journey because we are going to be doing a lot of cool stuff now that we're in this new space and we can properly settle down and just grow all the things. Okay, bye! Um, and I don't know what to say. Yay!